All right, guys, Mr. G back with a game I'm absolutely in love with right now because it combines some of my favorite games. It combines a little airships conquer the skies, it combines that feeling of homeworld deserts of Karak, and it combines a little bit of faster than light. And those games are all in my top 10. So what is High Fleets? Imagine an alternate dystopian future set in a pseudo Russian Middle Eastern dystopia where the Admiralty, the Duke, and the Royal Kingdom has fallen, and you, the last royal family member, are trying to restore order, defeat the rebellion. You're being pursued by strike fleets, very similar to FTL, and you've got to get to a location to capture a city with a reactor to win. It's got a lot of rogue light elements in it, um, but it also has combat, building construction, ship modification and a storyline worked in there as well with a discussion dialogue card game in there to boot it's a very complete feeling game and the more you play it the better you're going to get at it it's definitely one of those easy to play hard to master games so battles are going to take place in 2d side scrolling beautiful action scenes you're going to get victories you're going to lose crew you're going to lose fuel everything in this game makes you work for it now, like Homeworld, you've got a big carrier ship, the Sevastopol. Yeah, you can use it, but you shouldn't. Also, like, they give you nuclear weapons, and they're like, hey, use these if you need to, but you really shouldn't use those either. I really don't want to spoil this for you guys, but it is worth every penny I paid of the $29 I spent on Steam. It's one of those games where when you're doing other work, you're thinking about, when can I carve out 10 minutes to play this game? It's a game where maybe a run will last between 15 minutes and a half an hour because I'm super bad right now. And a lot of stuff is not explained in the tutorial, so I highly recommend checking out the Discord. I'll put the link down below in the description. You can join it out. It's an unofficial Discord, but they're super helpful. If you like games like this where you get to build, manage, roguelite experiences, even the landing when you come into a city to repair and you're missing landing gear makes you work for it in this game. But it's a game that rewards failure, makes you want to try again, and you get to take any bonuses you make on one playthrough and cash them in as extra cash in your next run. One day I'm going to get to Kiev, I swear. It's just not today. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Catch you on the next one. Mr. G out.